Hello Summoners and Summonettes, Gordon here, and today we are on episode 2 of our journey, I guess it's episode 3 if you count the full game commentary, but regardless of our journey to number 1 Nidalee in the world here, we do lock in the Nidalee jungle, and I guess we will just wait a little bit to see how the team comps finalize, but we will get into game soon enough here. So team comps do get finalized here, and man oh man do they have a crazy team fight slash control team on their hands. They have Trundle, Janna, and Nivea, so it's going to be hectic in these team fights. Maybe I will try and get the Nasus ahead, just so he has some form of split push pressure. I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely going to have to snowball pretty early on in this game, because if they group up and they have an advantage, I do not see us doing hot at all. There we go, baby. Finally operated the steel well. Whew. That was intense, man. So our Nasus is incredibly fed, which is really good. That's kind of our shining player. Azir is pretty fed too, but our AD carry is 1 in 7, so it's kind of making the game a little hard for us here. Very, very nice Azir out there. That might actually let us end the game, potentially. Nice. That's game. Oops, I just said yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be triple and have maybe game. That was really, really well done by Azir. Yep, that's going to be game. So we finished 14 over 2, so only 7 KDA, but you know what? We get promoted pretty freaking worth, if you ask me. We should be able to close out the game here. Hopefully we get another assist on that guy, maybe. Nah, he's not gonna let us. But yeah, that should be it for the game. Nice, another kill there. Boom! Okay. I'll take it. So we got Diamond, which should allow our performances to be worth more, because I think the higher rated you are, the more points you can get for every single game. So it'll be interesting to see the algorithm. I don't really know it, but we should be gaining a lot more for these wins now. So that's pretty awesome. So got Diamond there. KDA wasn't too great, but that was a really close game. Glad we got the diamond there, actually. Tied for most gold in the game. So what was it, 15 over 2? So yeah, 17 and a half KDA. That's not 17 and a half. Holy moly, where'd that one come from? 7 and a half KDA. Pretty good stuff. I'll take it. So hopefully more to come within this episode. Going into game 2 right now, and the enemy team, again, has an incredibly scary team. You got Evelyn, who can always be a constant threat. You got Brand, who can, if I gank him wrong can just completely turn it around same with Darius up in the top lane and then you have Tarek making all of them invulnerable potentially locking me down so I'm gonna have to really pick my fights correctly this game so hopefully have a high impact and get a pretty good performance rating off of it and also the Shadow Evelyn's flash art looks pretty weird and they changed Tristana's ears if you look they're like more out straight to the sides i think they were more like pointed up earlier i swear to god they changed the splash art or i'm crazy but that just looks really really weird to me i don't know if you guys see that though so our rally is already 0-2 against darius i lost all of my buffs because ezreal was dc'd but he did come back because the evelyn just immediately invaded when they saw no ezreal was in the game so our start is kind of awful at the moment but maybe we can somehow scrap a comeback, but at the moment it is just looking so bad for us. Alright, we're on the board. Not too bad. Good gank there. Easy. Can I get two? Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna slow a dragon now that Evelyn's off the map. Alright, we got the dragon and we get a pick. Okay, nice. Well, kinda got shit on this game. We just had no solo lanes. I think they went 4 and 14 or something. Darius and Evelyn just snowballed and. 
can't really do too much against that, but we still had an okay score. I think, what, we were 4, 1, and 3? Yeah. I mean, this was just one of those unwinnable games where you're the only one who did anything. Ugh, it hurts, man, but whatever. I already got diamonds, so no LP loss there, even though that's not what I care about. I care about getting good stats, so we'll see. So, looking at the close off the video in our third game of the day, hopefully it will go a little bit better than our last one, considering even though I had an okay score of 4, 1, and 3, the game didn't go long enough for me to actually get a lot of stats such as gold and creep score, which are taken into account in increasing your performance rating for getting you points for that number one spot. So, even if I lose the games, I don't really mind, as long as I'm just able to do well individually, as well as uh, have a pretty nice, I think performance score is what it's called, but regardless, I mean, I'm gonna try and win every game. I'm not just gonna like AFK farm to get my stats up. I wanna win, because I think that gives you points as well, so. But regardless, I'm always just trying to do my best, pretty much is our point here. Very nicely done there. Gonna try and run it down bot lane and maybe get some revenge kills because they are looking pretty low. Alright, got a one for one. Not the best, but not the worst. Not gonna complain with it. No threat to us, really. They can't really dive too far. Maybe a flash scunner off, but that's it. Lucian getting chunked down too far. Gonna be fine. We actually killed LeBlanc? What? I didn't even realize that. And we killed Karma. So just like that, we got two kills. Because they tried to go too hard, like I said. Nice, got the ace there with 309, a little low on kills, but still a perfect game to finish off the day, so 12 KDA, not too bad, and we'll go ahead and see, just for shits and gigs, how much uh, LP we got. That's kind of a closer game than it needed to be, their enemy top laner was DC'd for about the first 5 minutes of that game, so Sinch kind of got an easy lead. Ooh, only 15 points. How do we only get 15 points when we have such a win-loss ratio like we did? That's crazy to me, but... Oh, well, that's going to be the end of episode two. I will go ahead and figure out what position we are in, and then I will get you guys updated here. So if we take a look at our rating right now, we are at 6,098 for our LOL skill score, or LLS. So if we compare that to all the ratings right now, which the ratings take longer to update rather than your individual score for some reason, it would put us right here at this 11th place in between these two. So currently we are the 11th nidalee in the world going up still and it's quite a fast pace i believe what did we go from so like 19th to 11th this episode so that's pretty dang good so soon enough we might be at that number one spot here